It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. And I'm Sarah. And welcome to an unboxing. That's right, we're doing an unboxing. That's new. Hello. Uh, we've got the <laughs> other camera and everything. So this is Jim Beam barreled and boxed. Got this in the mail. It's a box. Something that's going on for uh, a couple seasons now. We just now got in on it when it had like open registration enrollment. and open enrollment. So this is an unboxing and a review. We've already cut this part open so we can just go ahead and get at it. Yes, you do. You do that part. Very carefully. There okay, we so what we got That's large. here is from the Cumberland Gap to Claremont, from Jacob to David to David M to Jim to Jeremiah to Booker to Fred to Freddie, all the way to you. There's a wow. lot of them beams, so beams of... and beams and nose. So we should say as we're opening this up, uh, these boxes are available in Kentucky, Nebraska, North Dakota, and DC right now. Okay. Um, but you can go on their website on beamdistilling.com and sign up for the Barreled and Box newsletter, I guess, to get alerted sure. when they're available in your area. Beautiful. So these are both Hardin's Creek. We have Jacob's Well. We have Colonel James Babeam. 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 Well, let's just get the noisy part out of the way first. <laughs> but that's not all. Yeah. There's also a tin with it that you can put, I guess, either one of these in there, right? Or is it just for... Uh, this one is for the Jacob's Well. Jacob's Well. Okay. Don't try to put the other one in there. It'll explode. All right. No. So, wait, There's something in here. Oh, okay. So, a little pamphlet. A pamphlet. A booklet that I'm sure is about to tell you what I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> Which that Hardin's Creek is an actual place that's listed as like the birthplace of the Beam family legacy. It's an actual creek, which is what inspired, that's the importance of Hardin's Creek. It is mm -hmm. a series that they will release annually. Um, they will all be limit, very limited releases in the Hardin Creek. Hardin's Creek line. It's a lot of information. We're gonna start with... The Colonel James B. Beam. Yes. Which is, they're both 108 proof, but this guy is aged two years, which is, you know, lower than we normally see from Beam. They pull it off the still at a lower proof point and barrel it then for two years, and it's supposed to be like a throwback to a part of their legacy. Their stance of this one is that like at the lower proof, they guarantee a rich complexity with like robust notes of vanilla and caramel and earthiness and nuttiness and oak, etc are hallmarks of a bourbon that is much older, but are, you can see them here in this two-year-old product. That remains to be seen. Because the retail price on this is, wait for it, $80. $80. $80 for a two-year when you can get a mm. four-year Jim Beam White Label for $12 or $13. But that's 80 proof. Um, have we said this comes from the Fred Bino we distillery? We have not. We actually got to see. It's normally not open. We got invited for a media day, so we got to kind of poke around the Fred No mm. distillery, and that's where this is coming from. So it's basically like the biggest bourbon distillery in the world, which is what James Beam, James B. Beam is becoming a craft distillery like in there as well. Because this is what a craft distillery would charge for mm -hmm. a two-year product, right? And we'd all go like, ah, oh, come uh, on. Uh, I suppose if you're a patron, then you'll want to watch the another round of this because we will be comparing this to some other similarly proofed, uh, but not similarly priced. All right, pause for cork pop. Oh, nice cork. I feel like all $80 is just this little <laughs> leather strap here. Just that. All $80. Well, let's set this We'll guy. set the, this is the Jacob's Well. We will get to him next. Light color. It is, I'm skeptical. And you know I love a good bean product. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of the nuttiness, but there was also like a lemon sort of citrus pop there in the very beginning. It's a lot of like buttered corn for me, like corn on the cob corn. Not a super complex nose, but again, it's two years old. Right, I wouldn't expect it to Just be. Just old enough to be called straight bourbon whiskey. Mm. All right, to your health. Okay, nice little punch for that 108 proof. I'm still getting like buttered corn, but it's good. I mean, I like corn on the cob. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's some nuttiness. There yeah. is actually some oak in there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's nice. It has a decent mouthfeel. It's a little aggressive on the heat, on the finish, but I would expect that for something this young. I have to say, I, I think it's better than I anticipated. Ideally, I would wanna see this priced around like what their 
normal everyday on the shelf products are, which is that like sub $30 mark. But because it's one of their like limited heritage things, I'm not trying to be a jerk about it, but like that's difficult for me. I don't know, it'll be interesting to see how this one stands up when compared. Right. I could see this being about half the price. I was thinking $40. Yeah, like 40. you want to say 40 bucks for your, you know, annual limited release. You're only going to do it once. It has the leather strap fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as it's got a leather strap. As long on as it, it has a leather strap and a fancy cork, I will shell out more money. It's elevated Jim Beam as far as looks goes. Actually, it's got a QR code here. You can hmm. scan this. You can get more information on the bottle. Then there's actually a taste along if you're part of the barrel and box experience. You can have a tasting led by Freddie No. Fred Nose's son, and he'll uh, taste along. Also now co-master distiller. Co-master distiller, that is correct. So that's cool, that happens in June, but you do have to sort of RSVP for it. So mm -hmm. if you're a member of this, go ahead and make sure you do that. And then you can also get two free tickets for a distillery tour. Box price, we should say, is 270 Yes, yeah. I was gonna save that for the end because people, I don't want them to be like, 270 This is $80 <laughs> for a two year, what could the other one be? The other one's the other one more is expensive. more expensive, but yeah. it also is much older. So we'll yeah. get to that. However, the box price is the MSRP of both of these added up. So there is no markup. Okay, sitting with this, uh, I was just sort of, as we were talking, just sort of sipping on it, and I sort of forgot that I was drinking a two-year. So it, it, it doesn't come across, you youthful? know, youthful, no. But I would say it could pass for a four. Sure, but the fact that, you know, whether they're a big distillery or a craft distillery can put out a product that tastes double its age is at least a little tip of the cap. I guess I just struggle because I think the argument is gonna be, why would I pay $80 for this when I can get an excellent Knob Creek single barrel uh, at 120 that's, proof? That's where it is. I think that's gonna be more relevant with uh, the next one. But even still, at 108 proof, we're talking 12 proof points difference. Like mm -hmm. if you like 108, odds are you're probably open to that 120 proof Knob Creek. And you're looking at maybe 12 years. So, you know, a lot six times the age it's and cheaper and you're gonna pay less so it's yeah. I think it's really hard to argue that well this tastes nothing like an op Creek to me this tastes more in line of the Jim Beam labels like true you know the single barrel the bonded, the bonded the repeal. Uh, things like that what is cool about this is this this is the first you know mature distillate that has come off of a new distillery at Jim Beam. I mean, it is new. But you can tell they're using the same elements, right? They've maintained the taste consistency, the profile consistency. Yeah. My takeaway on this is it ain't bad. I think it's overpriced for what it is. Glad to have experienced it, but plopping down that 80 bucks to own a bottle to experience it, it's going to be a decision that you ought to make if you kind of want to get the piece of history and, and have it in your collection, or if you're like, okay, if you're telling me it doesn't taste like 80 bucks, then I'll just skip it. Mm. I'm pretty much on the same page with you. I can't wait to see how this one shakes out when compared to other Jim Beam products. I have a feeling that I'm gonna say, save your $80 and put it towards the next bottle mm. that we're about to try instead. Like you said, not a bad tasting product. I just would expect it to be less. Well, we wanna put a little time in between these two, so a perfect time <laughs> to stop and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the uh, t-shirt and long sleeve that Sarah's wearing. I'm cold. Uh, the, the glasses. Sarah, it's like 95 degrees outside It's today. cold down here. The, gl the glassware, we also have copitas, rocks glasses, water glasses, challenge coins, hoodies, bottle cut candles, and more always depending. coming soon <laughs> at whiskeyambitions.com. You keep buying them. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite. Join our community for as little as one buck a month. That is where we release our barrel picks. More coming very soon. We hope lots of them out there in the ether. Uh, the opportunity to be on barrel picks and more. Like another round, like we talked about. That's where we'll do this. We'll be right back. All right, Hardens Creek. This is Jacob's Well. Also 108 proof, but this one is 15 years old. Much like those famous Knob Creek single barrels that we can't find anymore. Uh, yeah, this, they don't. They don't exist anymore. Well, it's okay. They have a Knob Creek 15 year now. They were like, wait one minute. Let us make an annual product that is this yeah. instead. And, and um, then also this one And when we've got this, so, stuff so like this. Pause for cork pop. Nice. So this one is a blend of two, they say ultra aged. We know they're at least 15 years. It's just 
their bourbon and a high rye bourbon. I think it's interesting that they make that distinction because they could just say a blend of bourbon. You'll notice on the label, it says 184 months aged. Mm -hmm. And that's a throwback to like the way they used to list it on bottles. We have an old Jim Beam decanter upstairs that says like 130. You know, when we're talking about the two different mash bills, that reminded me of the, the Bargetown collection. Jim Beam was one of them. It was a 50-50 combination of the old granddad and the Jim Beam uh, <gasps> mash bills. I can't remember the proof. Uh, I... It might have been around this proof. That might have been a little testing the waters. So I was going to say, do you think that they were testing the waters or do you think that they did that for that project and then were like, oh wait. That's an interesting theory, Chad. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you the age really comes through on the oh, nose. Oh yeah. Nice, I'm getting a little bit of that, you know, leather, a little bit of the tobacco leaf. Not that overly nutty Jimmy profile. No. Because I think that probably has to do with that blending. Right. There's a dark, you know, slightly charred wood, like almost like a slightly charred firewood note. Mm-hmm. Little citrus hanging out there on a, on a deep sniff. Nothing unusual jumping out. I always love it when there's like a fun note. Like right. Blueberries or yeah. bubble gum. Pretty or... normal. All right, let's go in to your health again. Wow. Wow. Oh. Very oaky and a little smoky. That's what I was missing from the Colonel Beam, is that spread out in the chest feels hug. And they're the same proof, but I think, you know, mm. 15 years, two years. Also not super Jim Beam recognizable on mm -mm. the palate. There I mean, there's are, elements, there are hints. very easy to go back to, which means it's not a super long finish. But again, we're not drinking a Knob Creek at 120, or a Booker's at 128, we're drinking a, mm. 108 proof. This it's very oak, char, ford, dark, a little smoky. I mean, I feel like I'm outside by a fire mm -hmm. in the deep of night. Those dark barrel notes are definitely there. It's not really going into like a chocolate like sometimes they'll do when it's very barrel forward like that. It's just staying sort of, sort of smoky, very oaky. Not a lot of uh, sweetness. I mean, there's your typical like hints of, you know, caramel and vanilla, but that's a given. Like we don't usually say those because it's like, that. Unless that's all that's Unless there. that's everything, yeah. It's really that oak taking hold. I mean, the sweetness in there, combined with that those barrel notes, it's almost like a s'more. It's more like of the marshmallow. Like singed marshmallow. It's more of the marshmallow yeah. than the yeah, But I like cracker. a good burnt marshmallow. It's teetering on too much oak for me. That, for me, is one of its saving graces. It's not super complex, but that abundance of the oak and the smoke and the campfire, a little bit, you know, that burnt marshmallow is like what's making this sort of unique in my book. Hmm. Uh, the price, $189. Mm. Ah, that's a different story. Again, I wish this was half the price. Same. <laughs> I wish this were 80 bucks. I mean, even at $100, if you price it the same as Booker's or even like 120. So if you said, okay, Booker's is higher proof, but lower in age, and we say it's 90 to $100, right? Mm -hmm. This product at 108 proof, but almost double the age or over double the age of Booker's uh, is gonna be 100, 120. Mm -hmm. I can get on board. I get, I see where your logic is and I follow. 190, woo. I think for 190, a lot of people are gonna be saying, if you're gonna charge 190, give it to us at cast strength. And I don't think that's what this was designed for because you do have still Knob Creek out there at the regular nine year, you have a 12 year, you have a 15 year. So I think this was more aimed at, you know, people who might be buying the Jim Beam single barrel, hey. but want more age. Cause 108, you know, that's the same proof as a Jim Beam single but barrel. But those people are shopping in a different price range. They Much are, different. they are, but it doesn't mean if you prefer lower proof things that you aren't willing to shell out money. True. Especially when it's got, you know, a 15 year age statement on it. Or you Fair. Know, it's limited. I feel like this product would really satisfy the people who miss the old Knob Creek 15 year single barrels. Like when those were a thing. Do you think it would satisfy them though? Yes. I mean, I think it's tasty. I th well, I agree it's tasty, but I think the, you know, They're the always gonna be 12 points in proof is... I think it drinks a little higher than 108. I don't think it's drinking like 120. No, it's not, but I guess I'm just saying it's giving some of the elements of those picks that you just don't really see anymore. Yeah. They're not gonna be thrilled with the price point. They're gonna be mad about the price point, but at least you Why? can choose between this flavor profile at this price, or you can just go ahead and get a different, like a today's day Knob Creek single barrel pick for or, 60 bucks. Internally in a brand structure, I get it, but as a consumer, I'm having a hard time. 
seeing like, why this when I could buy that? Mm -hmm. I said with the uh, with the Colonel Beam, I thought it was good, tasty, impressed with it just being the two years, but thought it was overpriced. I think I'm gonna go <laughs> basically the exact same uh, thing here with uh, the Jacob's Well. Mm. I am loving the flavor here. I like that it is, it's not just uh, another Knob Creek clone. It's not. It has more of that campfire woodsy flavor that I haven't really tasted in any other Jim Beam. So it is a completely new animal. You can tell related to the other animals at Jim Beam in their barnyard. A slightly different variation. But I do think it is overpriced for what you're getting. Especially since Jim Beam, like their whole thing is not the super expensive offerings. They've done like the Jim Beam Masterpiece, which was mm -hmm. $200 and uh, other things, but it's typically not their thing. Maybe Typically they're trying not. to make it to. So let's talk about that because this stuff is all branded with the James B. Beam. And if you've seen their new distillery experience, they gotta pay and for that. These distillery. new bottles. <laughs> yeah. Well, they do, but I think it looks like they're trying to elevate the brand by going from Jim to James. They're going the the formal, and by doing that, they feel that I think putting a stake in the ground with these is probably as a limited edition series. Yep. They're trying to elevate their whole thing. I'm just having a hard time for the reasons that you said. So let's recap. The box cost us $270, $190, which is the MSRP for this, and then $80 for the Colonel Beam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So equals 270, but you get the behind the scenes access to some stuff and you get two free tour tickets. And you didn't have to go out and find it. Correct. Because this is not, limited also. You did not have to hunt, but Came it is right to your door. limited on locations right. for now. Right. Um, and then we will get another two bottles in about three months. So. Mm -hmm. so I would say barreled and boxed, I give a recommend. These two products, we could bring the other guy back in. Collector's Corner, recommend. Taste, right. al taste alone recommend yes taste alone to price ratio don't recommend so i guess mm -hmm. it's a recommend recommend don't recommend <laughs> sure yeah i feel the same we will continue to buy the boxes because it works for us these two specifically it's not always the hardened creek stuff they do different stuff in different boxes between the two i feel like this is the better value because of the age you can stretch this bottle farther i think i think you give this guy another two years for or its four. stuff to age and then you take the price down a little bit um, and then it would make sense but not where it stands right now. The thing now. is though I don't think they have to because these are gonna sell out no matter what. They will. They're gonna be really hard to find they're they gonna will. sell out. Let us know in the comments mm -hmm. uh, what you guys think if you're looking forward to this series if you've got one yet and what you think about it. We... If you made it this far in the video Any of your thoughts? put down in the comments James Babeem. <laughs> what do you um, think about going from Jim to James? Well, I guess that's where we gotta leave it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. Come on over. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon.